Welcome back to the Ground Control Station. Got another $29.95 in the mix. That's right. That's the shooter, the second $29.95 that he's had in here. This one's had some work done to it as well. Um, and I was told it also has a switch installed for the amp. But yeah, man, these RCI guys come out of the woodworks. We got another one here. Mr. Simmons is waiting on, so. But yeah, let's uh, let's get this thing unboxed, man. Why not? All right, I'm gonna fast forward this thing. All right, all right, all right. We got the the older twenty nine ninety five here, and shooter is right. There is already a amp and uh, amp switch installed in the back. So what we're gonna do is RF power all the way down, mic gain all the way up. No reflect on that two and a quarter watt dead key. about 40 for average swing about 159 peak about 3.8 watts of reflect spot on frequency little warm-up period ain't gonna hurt these things one bit all right my game Still all the way up. Let's go ahead and modulate. Audio check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Audio check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you got a pinch carrier. It's flat topping. You got boxcar waveforms, man. No bueno. All right. One killer is tone coming up. All right, let's get a two division carrier here. No matter how you look at a shooter, this thing shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of power that's wasted on adjacent frequencies, man. You know? So, what we're going to do, and you had about 155 there, true to the tone. When that one kilohertz tone kicks in, about 155 peak. So, we got to get this thing uh, opened up and cleaned back up, man. Okay, actually, you know what, before I do that, let's turn this RF power all the way up. Almost 50 watts of dead key there on the high side of the amp. Audio. 56 watts. Audio. Oh, okay. Let's 
Okay. All right. Now, set you down real quick. If it's dirty on the low side, I'm pretty sure it's dirty on the high side. And, uh, you know, excuse my voice and uh, my nasally sound here, guys. I've been under the weather for the last week, man. I've had these two radios, these two 2995 sitting here just waiting on me. Uh, I didn't want to disappoint anybody, so, you know, like most of you guys realize, us men can't get sick. But anyways, high side of the RF power, might gain all the way up, one can learn its tone coming up. No bueno. Yeah, man. This thing's a... Uh splatter box dude all right look at this carrier here all right the distance in between this waveform and this waveform is a little too much okay so you need a you need some conformity here some compliance wave per wave it should be nice and smooth as your positive peaks okay you never want this flat line or this pinching here and you never want this flat topping or this boxed waveform okay when you get technicians who do work like this it inhibits the performance of the radio it does not make the radio get out a little further i'm sorry a lot of you guys you know peek and tweak and swing kits and ah man drop in those mosfets those high powered mosfets man into a radio that doesn't <laughs> <laughs> into a radio that is not designed for those MOSFETs. You know, it, it, it's classic, man. Like I was telling, um, like I was telling Eric from Eric's Tech Stuff not too long ago, man. Uh, we're battling the past, man. All these techs, you know, since the late 70s, you know, with these hacked up mods and these peaked and tweaked solutions. And they're not even solutions. They just end up causing the radio operator or what you would call the radio owner, more issues and more problems down the road. Sometimes it's a long ways down the road and sometimes it's immediately down the road. But anyways, that's not good. That's what we try to stay away from. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. We're gonna clean this cotton bigger up, no doubt about it. All right, guys, hold on to something. We'll be back. All right, so look at them trap cool shooter. No, no, and no, 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 no. All right, let me grab my handy dandy poker. No, no, no. Leave these trap cores alone, guys. Yep. Look inside all your radios. If any of that was done to any of your radios, yeah, you might want to switch up technicians. That's a no-no. Okay. Those causes uh, spurious harmonics. Ghost watts makes peaks meet, uh, peak meters really, really happy. That's all it does. Initially, yeah. This thing couldn't stay on frequency, man during transmit if it really wanted to. Like I say, man, these uh, these mods, man, and they're not even mods, they're hackery. Like I say, man, shops have been doing it since the 70s. And who is the average Joe to say, oh, you know, that's not how you tune a radio. No, man, you know, that guy's showing you, you know, 30 extra watts on the peak meter, so you're happy. But you get out there and you try to key up on 19, and you're not just keying up on 19. Your power is going to 20, 21, 18, 17, and it can even go beyond that. So 
All right, and we're back. Mr. Shooter, got your trap coils wound back tight. Okay. Those are tuned coils, guys. Don't spread them. It's not worth it. Uh, we pulled your your finals. We tested your finals. They're basically like 93% still valued. All right. Your AM regulator, same. Voltage regulator and down the chain, everything is looking AC doocy on this cotton pickup, man. All right. So, yeah. Now that we uh, got that squared away, got them to uh, coils tuned, we're going to continue the process, man, so we can get this thing back to you. No doubt about it. RF power all the way down. Mic gain all the way up. One kilohertz tone. True to the tone. Sixty five watts peak. All right. Now RF power all the way up. My gain all the way up. One kilohertz tone coming up. Barely, barely any reflect. Average swing, about 45. Max peak, true to the tone, 139 watts, three and a half watts of reflect. So yeah. <laughs> this cotton picker is spot on. I need to get downstairs and get me a nice warm cup of coffee. <clears throat> like I said, I've been under weather here, man, for like a week now. Oh, it's so unpredictable and random, but, you know, got to do what you got to do. Well, guys, this was not a very detailed or long video. This is one of my locals here. Just one of the diagnostics and any cleanup necessary. So that's exactly what we did for him. Hey, Shooter. RF power all the way up, mic gain all the way up. Now, I wouldn't run it, any of your radios with the mic gain all the way up. One o'clock, 12 o'clock, trust me, that's more than enough modulation. You gotta remember, this thing's being amplified in the back, okay? So true to the tone, 138 watts <clears throat> to the vocals. Audio check. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Two, three, four, five. Audio check. One, two, three, four, five. You got yourself 160. One watt radio, stroking, ready for business, no doubt about it. Appreciate your, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, appreciate your uh, business there, Mr. Shooter. 
We're gonna get this thing back to you as quickly as possible. We're done. It's a wrap. Hey, YouTube. Appreciate you joining in. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate the thumbs up. You guys have a happy holiday, man. And a Merry Christmas. I'm sure we'll uh, get on to the channel before then. Because like I say, I got Mrs. Simmons 29, uh, 2995 over there to work on as well. All right. We'll catch you guys on the flip. You know who it is. Ground Control 204. Black Ops Technology. And we're gone. Gone. Gone, gone, gone.